Hi everyone, in this video I'll be talking to you about materials and how materials can be assigned to both plates and members. So looking into my plates, plate number 1, you'll notice that the material ID is set to 1. So what that means is if you go into your material section, material ID of 1 corresponds to structural steel. Now you'll notice we have a whole lot of pre-configured materials they give values for Young's modulus, density, and Poisson's ratio. However, we do allow you to change these values. For example, if you were to have a different Young's modulus for a different grade of structural steel, you could change these values, and that would change every single member and plate that has an ID of 1. However, if you have a structure that is composed of multiple grades of structural steel, for example, you would want to create a new material that represents each grade of structural steel for each group of members. Now, I'm going to create a new material here. I'm going to call it Steel Grade 2. And I'm going to add a Young's Modulus, so 210, and a different density as well. And after you hit apply, I've created this new grade of, of steel and I'm going to assign this to my plate now. So back to my plate, I'm going to assign this a material ID of 8. I hit apply and now my plate is assigned with a new material. So that was quite easy. Now with members however, you don't assign a material directly to a member. However, you do assign sections to members. So right now the section is an I-beam. I defined this previously. Now this I-beam has a material ID of 1. Now as before the material ID of 1 is structural steel but I want to assign this section to my new material. So I would do the same thing as before. I'd assign a material ID of 8. I'd hit apply and now I have a member that is assigned with the new material and a plate that is assigned with the new material. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll catch you for the next one.